Hey and welcome back to another video. So in this video I'll be reviewing the Pittsburgh Automotive 8-piece compression test kit item number 62638 from Harbor Freight and this thing costs $29.99 as of the time of release of this video but inside Track Club members on sale I think you can get it for $19.99 as I believe but the general price is $29.99 and I've seen it on sale for uh, normal uh, customers as well for a bit lower but generally this thing goes for $29.99 and it's an eight-piece compression test kit for gas cars so if you want to get a diesel kit uh, if you want to test a diesel you have to get a separate diesel test kit this is for gas cars or gas engines um, of course the difference being this is set up for spark plugs but since diesel engines don't have spark plugs instead they have glow plugs you have to buy adapters uh, you have to buy a set with adapters for glow plugs instead of spark plugs or you can just use the fuel injector lines uh, the fuel injectors but uh, that's a bit more complicated the easier way is just to pull the spark plugs or the glow plugs and test them like that but this is set up for a gas engine, not a diesel engine. So this eight piece set is like that. So starting off with the box here, don't like it too much. It's a very cheapish box. It feels pretty rough as well. This, I'd rather have them do a smooth box than do this texture. It kind of feels unpleasant to hold, but that's just me. I don't like the feel of these dots like things, uh, but it, it is textured, so it is a bit grippy. Um, it's When you squeeze it, Kind of blows air out of the side and um <clears throat> these latches and stuff they they'll eventually wear out as you can see you bend them bend them like that uh plastic deformation wear and tear it's just gonna bend itself uh turn white at the end and then snap off and that's the same with the hinge back here as well you keep opening this a couple of times it's gonna snap off so this box is not forever but if you take care of it it should last somewhat long so now let's go and go ahead and open this thing i can show you the contents of course it comes with an instruction manual as well so i can show you exactly what's in here with this instruction manual cause it lists out exactly what's here and then again item number 62638 uh, you can look it up and this is exactly what comes in the box you have the gauge the hose the angle adapter fitting the straight adapter fitting the m18 hose fitting m14 m12 and m10 m10 is usually for like honda 100 engines or smaller gas engines you get in lawnmowers and stuff m12 is um colors slightly uh mid-sized like mud buggy engines drivable lawnmower engines stuff like that m14 is bigger m18 is bigger and so on like that so you can pause that and read that's just general safety stuff uh that's also uh just some information like that so let's keep that to the side and look at the kit itself so this is how it's presented you have your gate you have your adapters your angle fittings you have your big long flexible hose and your uh, smaller adapters let's grab one i believe this is the m18 so there we go and each of them have a o-ring on them as you can see and it's actually quite a decent o-ring doesn't seem too cheap and it is relatively durable uh, compared to some of the other stuff that i've seen on the market the much more cheaper compression test kits uh, the o-rings that come with them are pretty crap but this one should last quite long and they're made of brass they're brass fittings and uh, they're well machined i'm not saying they're perfect but they're they're well machined they don't have any pitting or anything like that on them however the gauge let me bring this up the gauge does have some some pitting like that i've seen ones without them as well like my friend's kit but this one does so again harbor freight is just a reseller they resell they rebrand and resell chinese products so uh, they do of course control the quality and they do add their a few things here and there but uh when you do resell stuff like that you really don't have a full quality control and some stuff i've seen has been inconsistent and this one does have the pitting but my friend's one doesn't so that's just a, that's just the way it is it's no big deal it's just a bunch of uh mild pitting as you can see in the middle that's just at this price range that's what you can expect uh but regardless it is decently built the metal is decently built this is spring loaded it is a very tight spring it's not too tight but it's 
the right amount. Uh, this is metal, but it's also rubber coated for protection, as you can see there. The uh, front is a plastic, it's not a glass, so it's a bit more durable uh, being a uh, plastic, but it'll still crack if you hit it well enough. And there's your gauge, PSI up to 300 PSI, and then you have your ranges over here. And this thing, this thing is the pressure release valve. I don't have an engine right here to test it and show you, but I've been using this for about two to three weeks at this point. I can't remember, I was so busy, but I tested it on a few machines and it did uh, do well when I cross-checked it with a co-worker's, uh, I forgot what that was, it was something else. It, it wasn't a Snap-on or a Cornwell or something like that, but it was a better kit. And uh, this thing got the same pressure as that on the same engine when I cross cross tested so i can confirm that as far as a digit as far as a analog gauge goes this thing is accurate as it can be because my uh, co-workers uh, kit was also a analog gauge so <clears throat> as far as analogs go it is definitely accurate as it can be uh, compared to more expensive kits but then again this is a budget kit this is not meant to last your entire lifetime throughout uh, the course of your work life, uh, this will eventually have to be replaced at some point. I'm sorry for the noise in the background, that's just um, my neighbors upstairs, that's just the plumbing uh, going off, but yeah. <clears throat> so let's pull out the hose here and take a closer look at that. We have the brass in there, and I think the one on here is an M20, this might work. M20, I'm not really sure, this is the main fitting that goes in there it's a bit it's a bit smaller but uh i'm not sure it it's just it's it's different as you can see it uh, goes in there like that but i'm not sure what size is that if this is the m18 this is a bit smaller well it's actually smaller than this so i'm not sure exactly what that size is but this can be used as well it has its rubber gasket so if you do find a size uh for that in total you have a five uh, set adapter for five different types of spark plugs. So yeah, that is the uh, That is the hose end and it goes in like this. So you pull back like that Slot that in and it holds well in place and it is it doesn't leak or anything that it it's it performs as it should And you just push back like that to release to get those adapters here and these are the adapters again. Now these don't have much pitting on them as you can see in the metal. There's a bit, but not much. But yeah, these are your adapter fittings. They go into the uh, thing the same way the hose does, like that. Yo, there you go. So, yep, those are the two, the angle and the straight uh, fitting adapters, like that. But yeah, as far as an analog pressure gauge goes, it is reasonably accurate. Like I said, I compared it to my friends or my coworkers' um, other pressure test pressure gauge kit. I, again, I forgot what the brand what the brand was, but it was definitely a higher end kit. It was older, but still uh, tried and true. He'd been he'd been using it for a long time, and it worked just fine. We tested it on a Kohler engine on a mud buggy, and it got the same amount of uh, pressure and. Uh, to, maybe the gauge the the gauge on this was a bit less. It was just it was just impossible to tell the difference. But if you if you're just looking for an eyeball rough estimate of what the uh, the compression should be, uh, you're perfectly fine using this thing. But if you want to the decimal exactly what uh, an exact number to the decimal, then of course you're going to have to go with a digital pressure gauge. Uh, a higher end set than this of course from probably Cornwell or Snap-on or something like that. However, if you just want a basic compression test kit uh, with the adapters and stuff, you can't really go wrong with this kit. It has like 3.8 stars on um, their website, on Harbor Freight's website, and a lot of people have been using this for quite a long time. I'm surprised that this doesn't have a proper review on YouTube, so that's why I thought I'll do this uh, review video. No one has really properly reviewed this on YouTube. Um, I'm pretty sure you can also put your own fittings on this if you take this off, so yeah. But um, if, you, if you have any questions, don't forget to ask down in the comment section. And oh yeah, warranty if you want to know that. It doesn't have the full lifetime warranty. It has a 90 day warranty compared to some of the other stuff that uh, Pittsburgh sells, but yeah, no lifetime warranty, just a 90 day warranty. 
But yeah, we've come to the end of this video and I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you honestly did, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up on the like button down below as it helps this video get on YouTube's algorithm. And also don't forget to leave a comment down below and uh, let me know what you think about this. Do you use one on the daily or are you planning on getting one? Also, if you really liked this video and want to see more content from me, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and ring that bell notification button as well. Thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video.